Caracal wildcat, specialized in hunting birds. When it comes to hunting, you'd expect a land animal to focus on prey in its immediate surroundings. But today, we'll be talking about one such wild cat that, wait for it, specializes in hunting down birds. If you don't know what we're talking about, this video is for you. The caracal is a wild cat like no other, so let's go over some of the defining characteristics that allow it to hunt birds as well as a little history on this feline. Without further ado, let's jump right in. History So, what is the caracal and where can you find these wild cats? Well, the caracal is a comparatively medium-sized wild cat species belonging to the family Felidae. It's also known as the desert lynx or the African lynx, but interestingly enough, it's not closely related to the true lynx. Lynx species have a more robust and muscular build with shorter legs and a shorter tail. They also have a ruff of fur around their face. The caracal itself was first described by the Swedish naturalist Carl Linnaeus in 1758. Its scientific name, caracal caracal, might be redundant, but it is derived from the Turkish word karakalak, meaning black ear, which refers to the distinctive tufted black ears that we'll be taking a closer look at later in the video. Historically, the caracal has been found throughout Africa, the Middle East, and parts of Central and South Asia. Its typical range extends from the northern regions of South Africa and Namibia across the savannas and woodlands of sub-Saharan Africa and into the arid regions of North Africa. In these regions, caracals display a broad scope of habitat preferences and can be found in various environments. However, they tend to favor drier habitats such as deserts and scrublands where they have adapted to thrive in arid conditions. Size Despite being only medium-sized compared to other wild cats, the caracal is nothing to laugh at. They can typically measure about 65 to 90 centimeters, 26 to 35 inches in length, from the head to the base of the tail, with the tail adding an additional length of around 23 to 31 centimeters, 9 to 12 inches. While at the shoulder, they stand approximately 40 to 50 centimeters. 16 to 20 inches tall. And of course, the weight of a caracal can vary depending on factors such as age and sex. But usually, adult males weigh between 13 to 18 kilograms, 29 to 40 pounds, while adult females are slightly smaller, weighing around 8 to 13 kilograms, 18 to 29 pounds. There's some degree of sexual dimorphism to the caracal, with the males being larger and heavier than females, but this is seen in many species across the animal kingdom. Geographic variations can also influence the size and weight of caracals. For example, caracals from the arid regions of North Africa tend to be larger compared to those from Sub-Saharan Africa. Appearance in terms of appearances, the caracal stands out from the rest of the wildcats immensely. These felines display a range of coat colors that help them blend into their natural environment. These variations in coat color can range from reddish-brown to sandy gray. The specific shade of the coat can be influenced by factors such as genetics and the environment in which they live. In some individuals, the coat may have a more pronounced reddish hue while others may appear more grayish. The caracal's coat is generally uniform in color. This uniform coloration is pretty useful since it allows them to blend in with their surroundings, providing effective camouflage while stalking prey or avoiding predators. The underside of the caracal, including the chest, belly, and inner limbs, typically presents a lighter pigmentation. It may range from white to light cream or pale brown. Some studies suggest that the coat color may appear slightly lighter during the winter months, potentially to provide better camouflage in snowy or barren landscapes. Think of it as the body of a caracal adapting like a chameleon. 
Interestingly, unlike some other wildcat species, such as the cheetah or leopard, caracals generally do not have prominent spots, rosettes, or stripes on their coat. However, in some cases, faint spots or stripes can be visible on the undersides of certain individuals. Tufted Ears Moving on, let's talk about some of the special adaptations the caracal exhibits that help it hunt its prey, and yes, that includes birds. Starting off with its tufted ears. These tufts, composed of long black hairs reaching up to 5 centimeters, 2 inches in length, are positioned on the tips of the caracal's ears. They enhance the cat's auditory capabilities in so many ways, like increasing the surface area of the ears, amplifying sound waves, and enabling the caracal to detect faint noises. For example, this heightened auditory perception allows the cat to perceive the rustling of leaves or the flapping of bird wings, aiding in locating potential prey. Furthermore, the tufts contribute to the caracal's spatial sensitivity. Acting as visual cues, they make the ears more visible and help the cat accurately determine the position and movement of prey, particularly birds in flight. This improved visual awareness assists the caracal in calculating precise leaps and jumps necessary for capturing birds. Once the caracal has located a bird, it utilizes its tufted ears acting in conjunction with its sharp vision and makes precise mid-air strikes. It's really a sight to behold. Eyesight Up next, we've got to mention the eyes of this wildcat. The caracal has large oval-shaped eyes with exceptional visual capabilities. The caracal's eyesight is highly acute allowing it to detect small movements and spot prey from a distance. The cat's eyes have a high concentration of rod cells, which are responsible for detecting motion and enhancing its ability to see well in both daytime and low-light conditions. Also, the positioning of the caracal's eyes on the front of its head provides it with excellent depth perception. This depth perception is essential for accurately judging distances and coordinating precise leaps. This is crucial when hunting birds in flight. What's more is the caracal's eyes are capable of rapidly adjusting their focus, enabling the cat to maintain a sharp and clear image of its prey. This ability in focus helps the caracal in tracking fast-moving targets like birds even during high-speed pursuits. And while the caracal's binocular vision is crucial for precise targeting, its eyes also possess a wide peripheral vision. This peripheral vision allows the cat to monitor its surroundings, detecting potential threats or additional prey opportunities while focusing on a specific target. Why settle for a quick snack when you can have an all-you-can-eat buffet? Limbs so, we know about the caracal's eyes and ears now, but how are they able to keep up with birds flying through the sky? Well, the caracal possesses remarkable legs that contribute to its agility, speed, and hunting prowess, particularly when targeting birds. With their long and slender limbs, the caracal is more than equipped for swift and powerful movements during the hunt. Its robust hind legs, in particular, enable impressive jumping abilities. Let me explain. Research shows that the caracal can vertically leap up to 3 meters (9.8 feet), reaching avian prey perched on branches or in flight. But that's not all. It can cover significant horizontal distances, leaping forward up to 10 meters (32.8 feet) in length as well. Did you know that it can even twist and change its direction in mid-air? Also, the caracal's speed and agility are noteworthy attributes. It can reach impressive running speeds, often ranging from 50 to 60 kilometers an hour, 31 to 37 miles per hour, in short bursts. This swiftness enables the caracal to quickly close the gap between itself and its avian prey, increasing the chances of a successful hunt. For some frame of reference, the fastest any human has ever run is about 44.3 km per hour, 27.5 miles per hour. Claws 
The caracal possesses sharp and retractable claws that play a vital role in its hunting and survival. These claws are characterized by their curved, long, and razor-sharp structure, allowing the caracal to effectively grasp and capture birds or other prey. For example, when in pursuit of prey, the caracal extends its claws for a secure grip while running or leaping. Their sharpness enables the claws to penetrate the flesh of the prey with precision, facilitating successful killings. The claws also provide traction and stability on various terrains, allowing the caracal to make agile and precise movements during the hunt. Furthermore, the caracal's sharp claws are advantageous for climbing trees. They allow the cat to grip and scale trees effortlessly, providing access to elevated vantage points or enabling the pursuit of prey, such as birds or small mammals. Diet We found out how the caracal hunts birds, but what kind of bird does this wildcat call prey? Well, ground birds, such as francolins, guinea fowl, and quails, are often on the caracal's menu. These birds forage on the ground, making them vulnerable to the caracal's stealthy approach and powerful leaps. Also, small to medium-sized birds like doves, pigeons, thrushes, starlings, and larks are targeted by the caracal, particularly when they are perched or in open areas. During breeding seasons, the caracal may raid bird nests and prey upon nestlings including those of songbirds and ground-nesting birds. Additionally, the caracal's climbing abilities that we discussed enable it to pursue arboreal birds, such as parrots, hornbills, and smaller perching birds found in trees or shrubs. All of these adaptations work in tandem and make the caracal a formidable predator, capable of pursuing and capturing a wide range of prey, both on the ground and in the air. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay up to date on videos like this. See you next time.